truly wanted this to be a celebration and recognition of the uh, phenomenal work accomplished by the Merrill College students and uh, the appreciation and nurturing and fostering of the partnership between the federal government, GSA, and Merrill College. Uh, this truly is a, a celebration of this partnership, which is an enhancement to the local communities. It's a celebration of the local communities and the value that Maribel College and these students add uh, to the community. And these are displayed uh, are true images that are captured in public space, in a federal space that are going to be here in perpetuity. It's good for students in any number of ways because um, it's real world, first of all. I mean, it, it, it transcends the classroom project and, and ends up being a permanent public thing. And so even early on, students have to think about sort of a commitment to their image or a commitment to their art that they don't usually have to think about in a classroom setting. Um, for a project like this too, they also actually have to sell their idea. Uh, literally, we pitched three different similar but very different ideas for this hallway and the students had to make presentations, um, accurate explanatory things for things that didn't exist yet and present to the tenants and managers of this building a justification for why this project should be chosen. Um, those are what, you know, in, in academia we would call transferable skills. They also then had to follow through on what is essentially a public promise that we, the students, will do this work at this time and in this way and at such a quality and so on. Well, it's a painted trillium. Um, some of the reasons that I uh, think I remember painting it about was um, one thing, it was a painting, and I thought it'd be cool to do a painted trillium, just to play with the name and all. Um, some of the challenges I had with it was just the concept of um, getting the composition correct. Um, I think the hardest part of doing it was um, the painting of the uh, stamen and uh, the center of it. Um, I chose the Grey's Lily um, because out of the choice of flowers that we had, it was the most vibrant and uh, lively looking flower. It also pre presented a lot of challenges um, as far as um, technique and uh, how to uh, apply the subject matter to the canvas size that we had. Um, so that was that was very intriguing to me. That's why I chose that particular flower. My inspiration was Georgia O'Keeffe, who does the giant, huge flowers. And the iris, I just remember as a kid growing up with irises, and there are so many different colors. And the leaves and petals are so different. And I don't know, I just always like the iris. How do you feel about the end product? Like, oh, I think they're great. I think it's, it was exciting to come and see it all done and see all the flowers up. That's cool. Very exciting.